asymmetric threats or challenges. Uh, I mean, uh, use of hybrid tools uh, of warfare and influence on social, economic and political state of alliance, union or particular member state. What we are looking at is the weaponizing of non-military instruments, which is the use of cyberspace, of the information domain, of infrastructure project, project, of the chain of supply. All of that is part of the systemic rivalry that we are seeing right now. With the conventional capability, capabilities, the right word is adopt. We have to adopt on a new normal on the world after COVID, how to live with the COVID, so uh, how to keep operational conventional capabilities. I think that the magic word is we have to adopt. I do not see the United States um, backing away from Europe or backing away from NATO. My presence here is evidence of that, I would say. Um, but there's more evidence, so I have about, today I have about 35,000 U.S. soldiers spread around 16 countries in Europe and, um, and Israel. Um, so the commitment is real, it's there. It's not just a question of this kind of reactive uh, fact-checking, but, uh, but the second response has to be this term that we've heard a lot of on this panel, and that is building resilience. Um, helping countries, helping ourselves and helping partner countries in, in Southeast Europe and elsewhere in, in a way develop a kind of immunity uh, against disinformation. So again, it's not just a case-by-case -case, uh, identifying misinformation, but that they're ready to, to recognize it, uh, ready to resist the, the influence of this.